Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Hey everyone, welcome back. In this VideoPad tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to edit and combine two or more videos into one video and then export it. I am using VideoPad version 7.51 but the process is applicable to both older and newer versions. First thing I want to remind you is if you make a mistake in the upper left hand corner you can find the blue undo arrow and if you are doing a lot of editing I strongly suggest that you save your project as a video pad project file so that you can reconstruct and not have to do all of the work again. The situation we have here is I have made two videos. I was playing Among Us with my son online and we both made screen captured, excuse me, screen captures. And now I want to combine these two screen captures that we made on two different computers into one video. So what I'm going to do is on sequence number one, I am going to load the first video and this player was called Nevermind and I like to right click and just choose play sequence at start. You can also drag it onto the timeline. So we now have our first video on the timeline and it has been placed in sequence number one. Now I want to add the second video that was made on the other computer and this was named Sheriff and I'm going to add a new sequence by clicking on the plus icon and I now have a sequence number two and I am going to put my second video in sequence number two and once again I'm going to choose place on sequence at start Again, if you like to drag and drop, that's fine too. So I now have our two videos on the two different sequences. I'm now going to add a third sequence and the third sequence is where I am going to be placing the new video that I am creating. That is, I am going to be placing the segments from video one and video two and I will be putting them quote into a new video which is going to be in sequence number three. And as always we are going to use our red timeline cursor to mark off the segments that we want. You move your red timeline cursor, hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor, and then you will choose split all tracks. If it doesn't come up automatically you can click one time and choose the little scissors. There we go. That's the beginning of the segment that we want to choose. Now we're going to go to the end of the segment that we want to choose, that we want to create, and I am Basically, just going to kind of do this arbitrarily. Now, click one time in the middle so you activate this segment. Okay, now right click and choose copy. Okay, we have our first little segment that we want. Now, we're going to go to sequence number three, which is empty, and we are going to right click and we are going to choose paste insert. And that first clip is placed into sequence number three. Okay. Now I'm going to go to sequence number two, which is the video from the second computer. And once again, I am going to use red timeline cursor and I am going to mark off the segment that I wish to create. And this was player number two. And I'm going to hover my mouse over the red timeline cursor, choose split all tracks, click one time in the middle to activate the segment, right click on it and choose copy. I'm then going to go to sequence number three which is our new video and you can see the red timeline cursor is at the end and then we're going to right click and we are going to choose paste insert. And our second clip has been placed onto the, our new sequence. And I'm going to do this again 
to further demonstrate it. Once again, I'm going to move my red timeline cursor to where I want my uh, this little segment to begin. Click on split all tracks, move where I want my sequence to end, this segment to end, split all tracks. Let's choose it right about there. Click one time in the middle to activate it. There we go. And right click it and we're going to copy it. And then we're going to go to sequence number three and we're going to paste insert. Right click, paste insert. And it's put at the end of the clip. And as you can see, we now have our three clips that are in sequence number three. And I'm just going to do this a couple more times and I'm going to do this off screen and then I'm going to export our sequence. Our sequence number three is the new video that we have created and I will be exporting that. Okay, make sure that you have chosen the, the sequence where you have, you know, your new video that you've created and now we can export it like you would your normal video. And there you go. Now we're going to take a look at our combined videos. First we're following Nevermind and seeing what evil things he's up to in Among Us. And by the way, uh, which one do you think is an 11 year old PC gamer and which one is an old man novice? Leave your guess in the comments below. Now we're following the sheriff around and we're going to see what he's going to be doing. Looks like he's lost. Now we're back to Nevermind. Nevermind is quickly going to where the electrical appliances are. He's going to sabotage. And now we're back to the sheriff. So as you can see, we've got the different clips and they've all been combined into one new video. And you can include still images and you can start with as many videos as you like. Like and subscribe and be sure to check out my other video pad tutorials from the tech playlist in the description below.